Gideon, wake up! Who has hidden who you are? We can't let the devil prevail in the atmosphere. Across the nations that belong to this tribe, welcome home. The tribe of Enoch, the tribe of incorruptibles, the tribe of immortals. <laughs> The war has begun. Wake up! Yahira, Evelina, Simbriania, Evitia, Elia, Elia! Kansas have conquered many humans. No more! Cancer must die. Jesus hung on that cross and crushed diseases. As some take on the party of Evelina, Evelina, Evelina! Can you get back to Jeremiah chapter 1? When God began to describe who Jeremiah was before conception, before you were formed, I knew thee. The war angel incarnated in a human body. And then later on he said, Jeremiah, you are a battle axe. Men can come to a point where they can climb in God, where they become angels in the realms. And there are different classes of angels. Gabriel is a messenger with good news, with messages. But when Michael shows up, wherever you see Michael, you see war. When you look at Pastor John, eh? ah, anytime you see me, you know it's what war. That's why anybody I touch, the spirit of warfare, like, yeah, I shall that's why anybody I touch the spirit of warfare like, yeah, I shall not, 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 not. weapons of war weapons of war weapons of war I need to help you to understand our tribe very well you've been crafted for war you've been patterned for war you've been shaped by God for war you are a battle axe, not just an axe. There are different axes, but there is a particular axe that God Himself had crafted for war. <laughs> Do not mistake 
spiritual warfare to a war against flesh and blood not a war against your brothers and sisters in church not a war against illuminati as individuals or as the hosts rather look beyond the establishment of the systems and war against the forces behind these celebrities cancel break the gate stand in the gap and war against the spirit that has possessed these people plant a sense of confusion and rejection in their conscious mind to begin to reject the influence of their soul ties with satan as long as we continue to talk about look at the hand the, the way he puts her hand she belongs to illuminati let's expose all the illuminatis and their signs so we are not here to expose them we are here to war and stop them being initiated so we're not about to hunt for those who are occultic the warfare is to go into the occultic rooms just like the devil appears in that room to talk to them the next person that should appear there is you what are you doing here don't you ever consult the devil again jesus is the way the truth and the life now stop or thou shalt die in seven days give your life to yeshua the christ and from today this bottle this your shrine this your satanic temple is hereby closed for the next 21 days your demons will not appear again your devils will not appear again i close the door until you say yes to yeshua ah, <laughs> I stand for Yeshua. I stand for the final revelation of the glory of Yeshua in these last days. The uncreated God created creatures to come into his eternity by discovering his undiscoverable eternal excellence and nature. So that which keeps us alive in eternity is discovering more of his infinite nature. Have you ever asked yourself, how did Enoch knew so much that God migrated him to another dimension? Enoch, you have known so much, therefore you qualify to elevate. Come up here. But thou shall represent me in other dimensions beyond here. How do I know? Enoch didn't go to heaven. Elijah didn't go to heaven. But the question was, where did God take Enoch? I'm talking about the dimension of the air, the dimension of the sea, the realms that govern creations, dimensions, and realms. And that's why Paul says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Our war is against principalities. Our war is against powers. Our war is against rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in the heavenly realms. Marine, we are coming against you. You must release creatures of God and the sea you must release the citizens of the nation of the sea that God created God says the Lord I will restore you back to rediscover the ancient landmarks of warfare to recover your destiny the destiny of your family the destiny of your nation the destiny of your continent from the forces of darkness in the atmosphere we are not here to fit in we are not here to be accepted it is not about money it is not about material things it's about establishing the Eden of God in other civilizations God is releasing the wings of the spirit that will bring the body of Christ into the unity of the faith. So there is a move of God that will come only when the corporate body of Christ comes into the unity of the faith. The body is spiritual. So we will be unified in the realms of the spirit. See you in the realms. There's a war 
before the coming of the Lord. Again from the reign of war.